Hi everyone, this is Sean, and I'm going to show you how to create your very first TiddlyWiki. I'm hoping this will make it easier for you uh, to get started. Uh, please remember that these technologies are new, and you might hit roadblocks along the way, and all you need to do is ask for help. Don't wait. Um, be sure to send an email to the listserv or give me a call uh, if you're having trouble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a new tab in my web browser and I'm going to go to tiddlyspot.com and here uh, I'm going to type in the name of the new uh, tiddlywiki that I'd like to create. So let's call this uh, Sean Test. I'm going to enter in a password And then I'm going to pick a wiki type here. I'm going to choose the MPTW uh, just because it has some nice features. And I would encourage you to use this one as well. Um, it just has some built-in features that are nicer than the standard ones that you might find useful along the way. So I'm going to click MPTW and then click on the Create Wiki button. And now it says I've got a new uh, wiki created, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this link to go to the site. And once I get there, it's going to show me some basic information here. And what you're going to want to do is the first thing is enter in the password that you entered in when you created your wiki. And click the save this password on this computer. Uh, after that, uh, click the save to web button immediately underneath that and it will save that all up to Tiddly Spot's website and you'll have your wiki in place there. Um, the next thing that you're going to want to do is click on the options link over on the right hand side and enter in your name over here. I'm going to type in Sean McKay and you'll notice I'm using this funny camel case um, where I have capital, or I have my name all smushed together and uh, with, with caps embedded in there. That's just the wiki way of creating uh, links to other pages and you want to just type your name this way. So if your name was John Smith, you would have John Smith smushed together with no space, a capital J, a capital S. If it was uh, Susie Smith, you do Susie Smith all scrunched together with no spaces between them, capital S, capital S. Okay, now I'm going to scroll down here and uh, actually what I'm going to do is click the options button again and then I'm going to save this to the web. Use the save to web link here to update um, the, the website. Okay, so it's that easy. Now I have a website that I can edit and use um, directly from TiddlySpot. Now the amazing thing about TiddlyWikis and the reason why I'm having you learn how to use this is that you're not dependent upon your school district opening up uh, access to uh, TiddlyWiki or TiddlySpot. This is something that you can actually download to a USB stick and put this in the hands of all of your students uh, just by sharing the file with them. So we'll get more into that later. Uh, today we're going to just get started accessing it and experimenting with it. So let's move on to the next thing. Um, we've created our site and what we want to do is start adjusting things. Now these little boxes here are something called tiddlers. Tiddlers are the basic uh, building blocks of a tiddly wiki. And it's just a chunk or a micro chunk of data or information that you've uh, put inside of your tiddly wiki site. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the getting started tiddler and we're going to go and start clicking on things. You'll see here that these items are italicized. These are tiddlers that you can click on and by editing them, it will change things within the site. So I'm going to click on the edit button here to edit this particular tiddler. And I'm going to say 
uh, for site title that this is called Sean's Test Tiddlywiki. And then I'm going to click Done. And when I do that, when I scroll to the very top of the site, you'll see here where it says Sean's Test Tiddlywiki. That tiddler automatically updated the title of the site. Let's go ahead and update my site subtitle. So you'll see here it already says it's a reusable, nonlinear, personal web notebook. I'm going to edit that. I'm going to say a place for me to experiment with Tiddlywiki. And then I'm going to click Done. Okay. Scroll back up and we'll see that my subtitle has changed here. All right. So that's how you change the uh, site title and the subtitle. Now let's go ahead and scroll up and we're going to create a new tiddler here. And uh, welcome to my test site. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. Hi, this is Sean and I'm experimenting with TiddlyWiki. By the way, I recognize that the name is completely silly, Sidley, <laughs> um, but uh, you know, I can't remember exactly how they came up with the name, um, but all that as it may, um, it's a very powerful tool, and we're going to just ignore how silly the name is. So let me show you something cool. Instead of using these buttons up at the top, you can also just double click uh, on a tiddler to start editing it. This is a change to this tiddler. And then if you want to, you can hold down the control key and hit enter to save your changes. Now one thing that's very important is after you've made a significant number of changes, you always want to go here and click save to web, which uploads a fresh copy of your tiddly wiki back up to the tiddly spot website. Okay, and it gives you feedback here that your file was actually uploaded. Then you can click on this close button to make that pop-up dialog box go away. All right, so uh, I want to go ahead and create one more uh, uh, tiddler, and it's called a journal. And you'll notice there's a special button here called New Journal. Now, if you didn't, um, uh, never mind. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what it does is it automatically creates a tiddler that's a date stamp. So you can go in and you can keep track of things. So today I introduced TiddlyWiki to my students and started EDFL 625 for the summer. Then I can click Save, or excuse me, I can click Done, or I can hit Control Enter on my keyboard to save this tiddler. And then you'll see a couple of different things. We've got a time date, or we've got a date stamped tiddler here that's a journal. And then up here there's a tag. Um, this particular version of TiddlyWiki automatically tags things or uses a cool tagging system to keep track of. Um, the different wikis that you have. So you could go to different places and assign tags. If I go down to this welcome to my test site, you'll see that there's tags down at the bottom. And you can type those in right down here. Welcome, introduction. You can use tags in any number of different ways. And up here, um, let's jump ahead a few days and I'm going to do a little tweaking and we're going to pretend that it's the 30th of June and I've entered in a new journal. I can say, hi, this is Sean. We're in day two of our class. Dot, dot, dot. You'll notice the tag journal is down there. I'm going to click done. And if I go ahead and click on this tag, it's clickable. It will give me a tiddler that has uh, in it automatically listed all of the tiddlers in my entire website that I've created that have been tagged with that particular tag. This is extremely helpful. Let's say you have 
a bunch of tiddlers in a course pack that you're giving to your students. You could uh, tag items as glossary items. Then all your students would need to do would be to click on the glossary tag and they would be able to see every glossary item inside of your site. So, uh, what have we done so far? We've created a wiki, uh, t excuse me, a tiddly wiki, and uh, gotten started creating tiddlers in it. So, hopefully this will be a good start for you, and please, uh, again, uh, email the listserv or call me if you're having any trouble, and uh, we'll see you online.